What's up guys, Chris Cano here with my business partner Chad Davis and we're here at the beautiful Alamo Draft House celebrating the 37th anniversary of the movie Rad and we're here with the one and only Bill Allen. Bill, thank you so much for spending this evening with us tonight. No problem, very uh, excited about tonight. Uh, tell us, what are we doing up here tonight? Well, we're in lovely Springfield, Missouri and uh, I've been invited by the Alamo Draft House to do a screening here tonight and tomorrow in the great city of St. Louis. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. That's incredible. You know, growing up, uh, me and my business partner Chad here watched the movie Rad nonstop. And I just want you to know that like, you have been such an inspiration, especially in, in, our, um, in our age group in the 80s and BMX bikes and, and this e-bike that we brought in here today, it, Bikes aren't going to go anywhere. And I just want to say, like, how does that feel to be a part of something that just continues to grow and grow and grow more popular all the time? Well, it's something I'm very passionate about. Uh, I was just an actor, I would say, when I did the movie. And only since then have become a very enthusiastic bicyclist myself. I've got a couple of cruisers and, and bikes and including e-bikes. So. Uh, I, I, I use it for daily transportation, for sport, for enjoyment, for cruising the boardwalk. And living in Southern California, it's not only a car culture, but it's certainly a bike culture too, with the low rider bikes and all the road bikes. So it, it's a great way to, to get yourself just up and moving and enjoying the outdoors. That's awesome. Chad uh, and I were talking earlier, Chad's a huge fan of the movie. And Chad, is there anything that you want to ask Bill that you, we were talking about on the way up here? Well, Bill, I think it was interesting, uh, a line from the movie is, how would you like to be the man that brings BMX's biking to all the small towns in the USA? And, and I would ask you, how would you like to be the man that brings uh, electric e-bikes to the small towns of the USA? I would love it. I think, again, I think it's the wave of the future. We've gotten a way into the future without these bikes and, and all we're lacking is R&D and more people on bikes and figuring out what they like and the feedback between them and the engineers come up with something like that or even greater. Who knows what we'll be on in 10 years. So I, I love the idea, I, I really do. And maybe people purists out there might be shocked that Crew Jones <laughs> likes e-bikes. Yes. So what, guess what, I like cars too. Exactly. Nobody seems to have a problem with that. But there are purists out there, and uh, we call them cork sniffers, just pe very refined <laughs> yes. in their taste, and yes. they know what they like, and they know the prices of uh, all the parts on all the old Haros, which is awesome. There's a place for that. But there's also a place for these bikes, and it gets people on bikes who normally wouldn't. And uh, with congestion as it is, and pollution as it is, it's, it's really our way into the future. I can't agree more. I, I think the biggest uh, 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 competition we have today is tablets and screens. And I think that uh, to, to be upset about whether it has an electric motor or not um, is a little short-sighted. We need to get kids and, and people out being active and older people that uh, can uh, get and still uh, do a low impact uh, activity. That's right. I, I keep threatening to make t-shirts and maybe we will uh, now that we're talking <clears throat> and have them say, it's time to get kids off their tablets and back in the emergency room where they belong. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Broken bones and yeah, all. Yeah, man, it's what makes men out of children. Exactly. And it's just the truth. Uh, you meet these little BMX kids who uh, a lot of them take hard spills and mm -hmm. end up in the ER and they can't wait to get back out on the track. They can't wait for their stupid leg to mend. Why? So they can get back on that bike. And so that really speaks of character and what they can become later on. They don't all go into bicycling, but they all go into something. Yeah. And, and to have that backbone, to know that you can take a hit, yeah. go to the hospital and get back on it and do it again, that, that's, that's an amazing uh, uh, wisdom for a child to have. Well, it's a metaphor for life. I mean, it's not failure until you quit, you know? And so fall down that back, get back up again. and That's right, and even us old guys, the happiest demographic that I know are older guys who got off the bike for years to raise a family and then rediscover exactly. the sport and now they're like I never knew it was this good yeah because it wasn't you're now <laughs> yeah. reliving your youth exactly. and it's better than it was exactly exactly that's a exact same feeling that we had with these uh, riding our 
around with our kids, uh, Chris and I, during COVID, um, on empty streets, up and down hills with our pedal bikes, and then we discovered these things, and it was just a, a game changer. It yeah. allows us to keep up with the youngsters. That's right, and and look nearly as cool, and there's nothing more fun than blasted by somebody on a $20,000 road bike who, they've been out training and everything <laughs> yeah. since they're 10 years old, and they look at you like, what, and you're on your backpack with your <laughs> earphones on, and for a split second, you know they're like, that's something like that. <laughs> <laughs> There's enough room on the road for yeah, that's right. I think. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now, Bill, we're here once again celebrating the 37th year anniversary of Movie Rad. How did that come to be for you? Did that did you go audition for this and you saw it, or did somebody come saying, "Bill, we want you to be the lead role in Rad"? Kind of both. Uh, I had a TV show on at the time that the director Hal Needham saw. He brought me in on the strength of that performance. And uh, I just sat on a mongoose bike and read a few lines. And I come to find out a few years later uh, that they want, the producers wanted another actor for that role. Uh, I won't say his name, but his initials are Robert Downey Jr. And uh, Hal said, no, he's obnoxious. Get, get, you know, he's arrogant, I think <laughs> what it was. And let's get Bill Allen. So it pays to be nice. I don't think I was the best actor in the room, but you got to spend 12 hours a day on a set with a person. You want to be able to get along with them, so it pays to be not. Sure. And you were working with uh, Chad. How did you describe Lori as? Oh, every teenage pin up. Well, she was not but every teenage uh, uh, kid's dream. You know, posters yeah, on yeah, the wall, yeah, you know, yeah. thumbtacks. That's, uh, that's right. Over the, whole, the bed. The whole thing, the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, she's, she's pretty cute. She's pretty cute. So that was my job. It wasn't so much riding bikes. It was making out with Lori Lachlan. <laughs> and ass lighting. That was act yeah, and ass lighting. That was actually the job description <laughs> for that job. So I was pretty happy with it. That's awesome. What's the most memorable moment or, or story working on this set? There's got to be something that's that just sticks out all the time. Making out with Lori Lachlan <laughs> sticks out, so to speak. I mean, is there another answer for this question? I was a young male at the time, and yes, there were bikes in the movie, but mostly I was focused on Lori Laughlin. And uh, uh, I let the stunt riders take all the hits, but yeah, I had other priorities. Let's say. That's awesome. Well, we're, again, we're so thankful that you take, took a moment to sit down with us tonight. and. Um, as you can see, we brought one of our e-bikes in. I don't know if you noticed a little something. Uh, yeah, that stuck out. I, mean, I saw that. And we would uh, love to see if you'd like to take it for a test ride in the I parking would, lot. I would love to do that. All right. All right. Let's do it. And let's walk this sucker. Yeah, go bald out there. This is really nice. Uh, I'll take two. I was gonna say, one one for the collection. Yeah. Uh, no, I'll, I'll take this as my number one, dude. It won't it won't sit on the wall. I promise you that. Okay.